for joining us. I'm Stephanie Poole. We're just weeks away from fall, and Labor Day weekend is one of the last few chances to get in on some summer fun. For a lot of people, it means a trip to your favorite watering hole for some fishing. Our Savannah Gato took a ride on the river with a local angler who reminds boaters to keep safety first. It's not unusual to find Bill Laws out on his boat on a day like this. Clear skies, plenty of sunshine, and Labor Day weekend. The boating enthusiast and owner of a fishing apparel business says he always cautions fellow fishermen to use caution and common sense when out on the water. And that means, you know, have the proper uh, life jackets on, on board. Another thing is the equipment or what you're operating. Number one thing on a boat is different than a car is there's no brakes. As you can see, it is extremely windy and bumpy out here. So that's why it's even more important to make sure you're wearing a life jacket whenever you are on a boat. They're mandatory for any child under 12. So they must have a life jacket on, period. Um, but it's very important by law, you have to have a life jacket that's approved um, for every number of person on the boat. So, Laws has been boating as long as he's been walking and has seen what can go wrong and knows how to avoid it. One, uh, making sure they know what they're doing. Uh, two, a uh, lot of traffic on the holiday weekends. It's a lot of traffic. So you need to make sure you're on the right side of the river and you're watching and if you're towing someone skiing or tubing. So safety is number one issue. Reporting in Columbus, Savannah Gato, WCBI News. And if you are boating, laws recommend packing extra water to stay hydrated.